Okay, this is chapter eight, extra practice. It says draw a number line or use fraction strips. We're going to draw a number line. So our number line is going to be from zero to what? To two. So in the middle would be one. And what are we going to divide each of our spaces into? Four. Okay, so two divided into one fourth. How many one fourth pieces do we have there? Eight. Eight. Okay. Okay, so on number two, we have a fraction um, that we're dividing. Okay, so I have one whole. I'm going to divide that into seven pieces. I'm going to divide each of those pieces, each of those sevens, into three parts. So now how many parts do I have? 21, 21 parts. So one seventh divided into three is one twenty-first. Okay, I want you to draw a diagram for, circle these, three, four, and five. I want you to draw your number line. The rest you can multiply using an equation. Okay, uh, let's look at 8.2. It says draw a diagram to solve. The baker has six small bags of flour. Each bag weighs one pound. She divides each bag into thirds. So she has six small bags. How much is she dividing them into? One third. One third. You should be drawing this diagram. How many one third pound bags does she have? Eighteen. Notice I put a hyphen in here. One third pound bags. Okay, let's try the next page. It says complete the number sentence to solve. Three students share five peaches equally. How many peaches does each student get? I want to see some work. Three students share five peaches. So five divided by three. It goes in once. And we have two left over. You take your remainder, put it over your divisor. So they each get one and two thirds. Okay, so you could have also written that as five divided by three or five over three. And you would have gotten your... Uh, one and two thirds. Um, so on these, what goes on top? The first number goes on top. The bottom, uh, the second number goes on bottom. Okay. It says write a related multiplication expression to solve. What am I going to multiply here? Six times four. Six times four. Okay, what am I going to multiply on two? Nine, we're taking three. nine and dividing it in this one. We're going to take one sixth and divide it by seven. So is our big number going to be our numerator or our denominator? denominator. The denominator. Okay, let's look at 8.5. Write an equation to represent the problem, then solve. Was has one third pound of cherries. She divides the cherries equally into two bags. What fraction of a pound of cherries is in each bag? So, what's our first problem going to say? She has one third pound, and she's going to divide that into two bags. Two bags. What fraction of a pound? That's going to equal in. Okay, then we can put this over our reciprocal. So we have one third 
or over our denominator. We're changing our uh, process there. Write your reciprocal to equal one sixth pound. So I need to see this process on number two. I need you to show me the reciprocal with multiplying it. Um, so on number two, not only do I need you to draw a diagram, but I would also like you to do the equation. 